With Super Bowl fever heating up New York City, many fans and pro athletes are flocking here for the big game, including our next guest. That's right. He's a triple threat for the Cleveland Browns and is here to discuss his career and Sunday's battle on the gridiron. Chris Obanaya, welcome to Arise 360. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me, guys. Okay, right. so you have to tell us. You play fullback, running back, and receiver for the Browns. What don't you do? In which <laughs> position do you like most? <laughs> I think I like all of them equally. I think anytime you have an opportunity to be on the field and play mm -hmm. you understand that playing ball is a privilege it's not a right and so just to be able to be an athlete in the National Football League has always been a blessing to me mm. it's not just popular here domestically abroad football is also really huge in fact your team I've read is one of the has one of the largest international fan bases over 340 organized clubs and 90,000 members are obsessed with the Cleveland <laughs> Browns why do you have such an international presence I think just the way the NFL is moving the direction that it's moving you see games being played in London at Wembley Stadium mm -hmm. different types of environment it's a different atmosphere because they're so used to soccer which is so big internationally but uh, the National Football League has done a lot of things to implement the game overseas you see a lot of smaller leagues um, international leagues of American football being played there also mm. do you still have to distinguish between football with two O's and soccer, football, <laughs> F-U-T-B-O-L, mm -hmm. or I have you, you seen people I think know you the do. difference now? Mm -hmm. I, think, I think they know the difference for the most part. Um, American football has gotten so big, mm -hmm. um, and especially with the help of fantasy football, I think that's really right. oh. elevated things and changed things a lot, but I'm a huge soccer fan also, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to take anything away from the world's favorite sport. What's if you your will. favorite team? Uh, man, I'm more of a fan of a bunch of players, okay. um, but you know, I keep up with EPL, I keep <clears throat> up with La Liga, even uh, the German League, and so it's just a, a lot of fun, a lot of, to, a lot of great players to watch also. Man, We're a Manchester United family, so I was just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw that like, out there. I like, I like Wayne Rooney a lot. He's a, he's a great player. Yeah. Okay. He's a great player. Okay. Well, people in Ohio are obsessed with the team and you. My nephew, BJ, he raves about you and his father, always talking good things about you. But I have to ask you about the rumor that's been going around that the Cleveland Browns may pick up Heisman Trophy winner, or at least they're courting him, they're interested in him, Johnny Manziel. What do you think about that, and how will he be an asset to the team? Uh, if we were to draft him, he's a great football Ball player. I know Johnny personally uh, growing up in Texas. Right. Uh, very talented. I think that there's one thing that you can't take away from him is his playmaking ability. Anybody mm -hmm. that can make plays, usually that translates into the NFL. Um, but it's, it's a learn, there's a learning curve. You have to go in with that mindset to work hard, and I think that he has that ability. But our front office, whatever they decide to do, will probably be for the best of the team, and I hope we just play better next year. All, All right, now let's talk Super Bowl. Yes. All right, Who's going to win, Seahawks <laughs> or Broncos? Oh, man, it's a tough question. I'm split. I have a lot of former teammates and good mm -hmm. friends on both teams, but... But who's going to win? I'm, I'm going <laughs> to go with Denver. I'm going to go with Denver. Okay, I want really? um, Peyton to solidify his legacy. I think that would be good, uh, a nice punctuation to a, a great career that he's had. And if mm -hmm. he wins, he'll be the first quarterback to win Super Bowl titles on two different teams. I think, I think so. Okay. I, think he's, I mean, I, I, haven't, I can't think of anybody immediately that has done that. Yeah, but, I read mm, that this morning. So. That sounds about right. Wow. That sounds about right. Huh. Well, what do you think is going through the minds of the players right now, and what could they possibly be doing to prep for the big game? I'm sure there's a little bit of anxiety. I mean, mm. I'm anxious before every game. Right. You matter. are? It's every game. But it you're a matter. big pro ball player. It doesn't matter. I think the, the minute that you're not anxious or nervous, mm. it's probably time for you to hang it up. Mm. And so even preseason games, there's, a, there's an opportunity for you to, to represent yourself, to make a statement. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're not on that current team, I always tell the rookies and free agents, somebody's watching and somebody's mm -hmm. looking to see if you can play in this league. And so they're probably a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, but I would just say for them just to continue doing what they're doing. The formula is there. It's gotten them this far, and hopefully they can play well. Wow. Well, how important is a Super Bowl win to a football player's career overall? It's the, the pinnacle of our sport. It's, it's mm -hmm. the greatest achievement you can have outside of being in the Hall of Fame or named to a Pro Bowl or All-Pro. And so... Every player wants to do it. Every player wants to uh, taste that sweet nectar, if mm. you will, uh, <laughs> victory and uh, have the confetti poured on them. So that's what you play for. That's what you hope for as an athlete. But, you know, people always say, athletes always say, oh, it's not about the rings. Yeah, it's not about yeah. the trophy. It's just about the sport yeah, for me. I love You're the saying, game. Yeah. You love the game, but you love to win. Anybody uh -huh. that's interested <laughs> in competing, you want to win and you want to do things in the to the best of your ability. 
So does that mean after you have one of those championships, you can automatically demand, oh, I want a few extra million next season? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I would be that guy. I'd right. try to stay, uh, stay humble. Book, stay humble, oh, absolutely. Okay. But Humility has help. nothing to do with your paycheck, my oh. friend. I, don't know. I, don't I humbly know. accept this race. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I hear y'all on that. Oh, gosh. So talk about your career. Has it always been a dream for you to play in the NFL? Do you remember playing whatever your first game was? Um, it was really, it started, I would say, in high school. In mm. fact, my father um, didn't want me to play football. And the coach that had asked me to play, I called my dad that afternoon. I was like, Dad, can I go out and try it? He gave me his blessing after talking to my older sister. And I was just like, OK, I don't have any cleats. I don't mm. have any shorts. And they provided that stuff. So I went out there, and I really never looked back. I was able to uh, play varsity that year as a freshman and wow. then moved on all, all the way up and uh, was lucky to get a scholarship to go to University of Texas. and. Mm. Really just things took off from there. We won early. We won a lot while we were in college and have turned that into a pro career. So you didn't play Little League or any of these other, really? No, huh. we, we, my family, we had, um, we played in like the rec leagues. We played in for soccer and that was like a year long thing. My sisters played um, competitive volleyball, but nothing like that. Just, of course you have your, your YMCA leagues. Yeah. You had mm -hmm. your basketball things. That was really what I was into growing up. But football, I just really stumbled upon it in high school. All right. Now, you, your father's from Nigeria. That's correct. And I've read that a number of Nigerian football players like to eat traditional meals before the game. <laughs> I'm not one of You're them. You're not one no, of them? Right. Okay. It doesn't matter. They like eat some pounded yam pounded to get, yam, get some, uh, yeah, jollof rice. rice. Jollof rice. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, it's funny. Uh, OCU Manure is a good friend of mine, so we always mm -hmm. talk about those type of things and, and the tradition of, of being uh, from Nigeria and going home and being able, being able to represent our community respectively. Mm -hmm. And so it's definitely something you take a lot of pride in and, mm -hmm. and being from that. And, and the Nigerian players and those that are in the league have had a lot of success um, at this stage. And so it's something we hope to keep doing. Okay, so no food things you do before the game, but what about rituals? Do you have anything you do to get ready for the game? Like mm. a little rabbit foot in your pocket or something? <laughs> oh, no, no, no rabbit foot. But what I do specifically, I have uh, to listen to particular music before oh. I go out each time. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, tell us. It's, it's actually different. I listened to uh, Clint Mantle as a, a composer. He wrote this song called Lux Eterna, and I think it was on um, Requiem for a Dream and Lord of the Rings. Mm. Oh, okay. And that, that's something that I listen to before I go out every, every game. I just like the, the way it builds up, the climax of the song, and it's just very upbeat. It's a great song. Okay, mm -hmm. it gets you ready for battle. It gets me ready. Yeah. It okay. gets me ready to go. Any Jay-Z? I heard a lot of guys like to listen <laughs> to Jay-Z before they hit the field. That's a, that's really more into my pregame. Once I get to the stadium, you know, I turn on some Jay-Z in the car on the drive or, or anything, whatever I like during that time period. It could be anything. I have a very um, diverse musical um, background, and so... I just like to listen to whatever is bumping in my head that day. Mm -hmm. And then once I get to the stadium is usually when I go through those songs that I tend to listen to before each game. Nice. All right, well, I like that they get you hype and hope they keep you winning. No question. All right, well, no good question. luck next season. Thank you guys very much. All right, now he says Denver's going to win. Who do you think is going to win yeah. the big game? Tweet us about it at Arise TV 360.